Hey, what's happening, you guys? Credit to Will here from Sweetwater. Welcome to the channel, and thank you all for tuning in. Today, we're going to be diving in and taking a look at all the new updated features in Fab Filters Pro R2, which is their reverb plugin that I absolutely love. So make sure you guys stick around to the end of this video so you can see if this is something that you want to add to your arsenal. If it is, then make sure you check out the links in the descriptions, or you can always head over to Sweetwater.com where you can check out the product pages and all the other plugins that we have available but y'all already know what time it is let's dive in and let's get creative here it is fab filter pro r2 i got it loaded up inside of a project that i just started working on inside of cubase i got a vocal loop that i found from splice it was a dry vocal loop sounded amazing and i played out a few chords in keyscape uh for the piano chord progression so you were hearing it on a piano and you were hearing it on a vocal so let's go ahead and dive in and talk about some of the updated features inside of pro r2 so right out the gate visually we can see that some things has changed around so now it looks like our pre-delay is up here in line with all the rest of the parameters. So it looks like they put all the parameters up here at the top and we used to have it down here at the bottom, but they moved it up here to the left. Now, personally, that's a small update but it just makes sense. And I think that with this update, they just enhance the workflow so you can get to work dialing in your, your reverb how you want it. And that's what I felt when I was utilizing this plugin in and dialing in a different parameter. So we got our, our pre-delay is up here. And on the outside ring, we see on each one of these different knobs right here, they added this little indicator knob that lets us know how much of the parameter we're dialing in. And if you have a scroll wheel on your mouse, you can actually dial it in just by utilizing that. I'm utilizing a magic mouse and that's how I'm dialing in the parameter. So I thought that that was super dope. You could do it on the previous version, but just seeing it, it's like, oh, okay, I can dial it in very, very intricate with the moves that I'm making. So right above the pre-delay, we now have this button that we can press to either dial in our pre-delay freely or you can sync it to the tempo of your track, however you see fit. So now in Pro R2, we have this button right here where we can dial in the type of reverb algorithm that we wanted and they added two new algorithms, which is vintage and plate. The vintage algorithm is recreating a warm and lush sound and then the plate algorithm recreates the classic analog plate sound that we're used to. So let's go ahead and cycle through these different algorithms and see what it sounds like on this vocal. So this is what plate sounds like, what we heard in the beginning. I set myself on fire just to keep you warm. But in my heart was so tired. This is what vintage sounds like. I set myself on fire just to keep you warm But in my heart was so tired Of what have we become And this is what the modern sounds like I set myself on fire Just to keep you warm But in my heart was so tired Of what have we become so you can hear that those different reverb algorithms added a unique texture and character to that vocal. This is probably the most uh, exciting feature for me because I feel like now I have three different type of reverb algorithms or three different types of reverbs in just one plugin. So good on your fat filter for adding that feature. Next up, you see that we now have a new parameter called thickness. So this adds density and saturation to the sound. So let's take a listen to that and I'm gonna just dial it back and forth so you guys can get a sense for how it sounds rather than me just talking about it. So check this out. I set myself on fire just to keep you warm But in my heart was so tired of what have we become you can kind of hear that uh, the reverb just got a little bit thicker, <laughs> for lack of better words. It really did feel like it just got a little bit thicker and a little bit more clouded around the vocals to me. So let's listen to that one more time so you guys can get a sense for it. I set myself on fire just to keep you warm. But in my heart was so tired of what have we become. 
So another updated feature inside of Pro R2 is the increased decay rate knob range. So it goes from 25%, which is all the way down right here, all the way up to 400%. So the benefit of this is the expanded decay rate knob range allows you for a wider spectrum of reverb times, which will ultimately give you more flexibility in achieving the desired reverb tail length for different materials. So you can dial in with more precision that tail length of your reverb time if you want to with the, uh, the decay rate percentage. It used to be right here where this brightness knob is at, but they put it on top of the space knob. So in this new version, we now have this new parameter called the ducking control. Yo, I love this little ducking control. Like this thing right here makes life a lot easier if you're trying to duck that reverb, if you want the vocal to take precedence and be like straight up in your face and then the reverb just catches on after the vocal says what it has to say. So that's kind of what it's doing. So it pretty much is a quick solution for achieving better separation between the wet in the dry signal. So it's super cool if you're trying to achieve or maintain clarity and balance in your mix, which I wanted for this track. So we're going to take a listen to this vocal solo by itself so you can hear what the reverb is doing whenever I increase or decrease that ducking feature. So check this out. I set myself on fire just to keep you warm. And then my heart grows so tired Of what have we become So you can hear that whenever the vocal stops playing or stops speaking, then the reverb comes in on the tail end of that vocal to kind of allow the vocal to take precedence and not drown it out. So let me play that one more time so you can get a better sense for it. Check this out. I set myself on fire just to keep you warm But in my heart grows so tired Of what have we become Cause I've been waiting forever Trying to mend us together But time to show me no better We just another disaster so next up, we have the auto gate feature that's on top of the ducking feature. So this is kind of opposite of what the ducking feature does. The ducking feature allows your vocal to play and then it the reverb is on the tail end. The auto gate is kind of opposite. It, the reverb will be on the your vocal and then the tail end, it kind of cleans it up. So let's go ahead and play that really quick because I know it kind of sounds confusing with me explaining it, but you can hear with your ears and see exactly what it's doing in your mind when you hear it. <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense, but it will when you hear it. Check this out. I set myself on fire just to keep you warm But in my heart grows so tired of what have we become Cause I've been waiting forever Trying to mend us together But time to show me no better we just another disaster. So you can hear that whenever that vocal was playing, the reverb was applied to it, but then that gate feature cleaned it up on the tail end and it just stopped whenever the vocal wasn't playing. So it's kind of backwards in regards to what ducking does and what auto gate does. And you have your um your host sync options right here. So this will sync in time depending on whatever you choose, or you can dial it in freely if you want to. The next feature that has been added to Pro R2 is if you look over top of our mix knob right here, we have this freeze button. So the freeze button is a creative tool that lets you freeze the reverb tail, creating like this ambient soundscape and unique textures in your mix. So let's go ahead and take a listen to this thing and see what it's doing. I set myself on fire just to keep you warm. But in my heart grows so tired of what have we become? Cause I've been waiting forever. Trying to mend us together But time to show me no bed
Super cool, unique, creative feature. Nothing too crazy going on with the freeze button. It just literally freezes that tail. So in Pro R2, we now have a full feature preset browser that allows you to actually search, tag, add to your favorites, and just a filtering system for a quicker and more organized workflow. This is one of those small, useful updates that makes a huge difference in your workflow, especially if you're somebody that likes to save your presets and just type them in and find them really quick then this new feature browser will help you do just that. And we now have the ability to import impulse responses uh, wave format only, but we it's now seamless and super easy to do. So what happens when you import those IR files, Pro R will analyze the imported files to choose the optimal settings of the plugin itself. You, it changes the decay time, the decay rate, uh, the output of the EQ to pretty much closely match those impulse response files that has been added. It's kind of like magic. So let's go ahead and add one really quick. It'll show you exactly what it's doing. So it does this little thinking and it changes it. The only thing that we have to change is the space, which is 2.5, which gives us a haul. And this is what that new impulse response file did. And it changed all the parameters for me. So let's take a listen to it really quick. I set myself on fire just to keep you Now inside of Pro R2, we have the ability for mid side, left and right options on our output EQ curves, which is super cool. So if you come right over here, you can see you have the options for left, right, stereo, mid side. If you select one, it changes over here to that different um, section. So I can come over here and I can select any one of these nodes and I can actually make adjustments on either parameter, the left, the side, the mid, however I see fit. Now this is super cool because with mid side, and uh, left options for the output curves on the EQ, you now have better control over the stereo imaging and tonal balance in your mix, which provides even more precise EQ adjustments. So that's a really cool update. It's kind of like Fab Filter is giving us a Pro Q3 inside of Pro R2. <laughs> that's a lot of Pro R's and Pro Q's, but you get what I'm saying. It's more control and more um, parameters for us to make adjustments and just have overall control of our um, sound that we're looking for. Down here in our left-hand corner, it's kind of very small, but if you click this little piano button, we now have the optional piano display scale for interactive reverb displays, which provides more intuitive visual feedback for setting the reverb parameters, making it like tweaking the, the, the tweaking process and much easier and musical and meaningful. You can see that it correlates to our different nodes that you see on here. So it tells us, hey, what parameter um, in regards to the frequency spectrum that these are on the musical aspect of everything. So if I move these over a few notes, you can see that it's actually changing where this node is at in regards to the frequency spectrum and it's color coded to the specific nodes that's on the EQ and the decay rate right here. Pro R2 now supports full immersive Dolby Atmos functionality with channel layouts up to 9.1.6. So I don't have the functionality or this studio set up to um, support Dolby Atmos, but in the future, I probably will be diving into that because I'm very interested in it. But I do have a screenshot up here that shows what it's going to look like uh, if you do have a project or a studio that supports it. You can see all the different channels over here to the diff to the left, and you have the ability to affect the reverb on individual speakers. So I think this is really cool, and this is the way forward, and it's futuristic. Uh, so good on Fab Filter for adding that feature, and if that's something that you're into, then you definitely will get that with. Um, with Pro R2. So but there you have it. That was a quick overview of some of the updated features inside of Pro R2. Let me know in the comment section, do you guys rock with this plugin? Do you like the updates? And do you think it will enhance your workflow? Because me personally, I think it's going to enhance my workflow. So I'm excited to keep working with this plugin. If you guys want to check out Pro R2 for yourself, then head over to Sweetwater.com or reach out to your Sweetwater sales engineer because they can help you out with a lot of things like, hey, which other plugins are similar to this plugin that I might want to check out? Or what are the different financing options that may be available to you that can help you purchase this plugin right now? So make sure you reach out to your Sweetwater sales engineer. Until next time, keep creating, you guys.